In this tutorial, we would like to show you how to import our GIS files and set the corresponding filters. In our example, we will import a number of buildings. To do so, go to File, Import, ArcGIS Files after starting the program and choose the path of your ArcGIS shapefile. When starting the import with an empty project, this will lead you to the Project Properties dialog in order to select your settings. Please leave the default setting Noise and select LDEN as rating method. Confirm with OK. The dialog shows an overview of the elements in your shapefile. We now have to set the import filter. You can either load an existing filter or create a new one by clicking the button New. The import filter will enable the software to identify parameters from the shapefile and translate it to IMI element parameters. First select the element type, house, building, in this case. In the below matrix, each line contains one element parameter. If IMI can identify the meaning, this will be set automatically. For the cases where the automatic identification is not able to assign the parameter, please select the appropriate attribute from the drop-down menu Element Field. In this case, Element Descriptor and Relative Height of the Building. Please confirm with OK and start the import. The protocol will show the type and number of elements that have been imported. At this point, let's save the project. Save the project file with File, Save Project As, and enter ArcGIS Import for example. The import has automatically set the coordinates from the shape file. Please set the appropriate coordinate system in the Project Properties dialog on the Work Area. In order to load a background image, you can either add your own file if available, or you can import a background image from an internet map client. To do so, go to File, Import, and choose Background Bitmap from Internet Server. This opens the Map Import function. The default map opens as OpenStreetMap, but you can choose other map clients by clicking the small plus symbol in the upper right corner. For now, let's leave OpenStreetMap and click Generate Bitmap. The background image has been successfully imported and you can continue with modeling your project.